we're on the Voie Verte to Lourdes. Morning. It's a very busy route, it's an old railway line. And we've just, oh it's a taxi cycle. We've just hired our bicycles in Ar Argelis Gazost and it's the week the Tour de France comes right by us. It's the most popular week of the year, wouldn't you know it? Bonjour mes amis. Aujourd'hui, je suis Bradley Wiggins et ma famille, uh, ma fille est a Dan Martin et ma fille est uh, Mark Cavendish. We're at the uh, Tête de la Course. There's the, I'm just drafting behind my daughter. We're going to take her as the peloton comes powering through number 23. The wind's in our face. There's a slight incline all the way down to Lords, which is good, which means there's a bit of a fag cycling home. We're in the foothills here. The kids have all got good bikes. Someone's going past us. Coming by. Here we go. Oh, and he takes number 23, leaves him for dust. They've all got good bikes. Daddy's on a gay bike, look. Very sit up and beg, very Dutch style. I'm catching all the wind. We've followed the Voie Verte, which is the green way, the old cycle, uh, the old railway line, now a cycle track, to Lords. We went to the end and it just runs out at a crotty old roundabout. So now we're cycling back into the centre of Lords, looking for miracles. And there is a funicular railway up the Pic de Gere, I think it is, which might be the thing in front of us. And then caves off, that's just a bit round the corner, just round here to the left. I think it's that one there. Very big. Centre of Lords. Very narrow shops. Oh, lordy lordy, here we are. Got some churchy thingy. Lots of Christian-y people walking round. You, here you have to come and balance a bottle of water on your head, look. It's all about deportment. So we've just had a drink and we're now going to go and find some runch. There's the castle, you can pay seven quid to go up, though we didn't bother. We might go up the funicular. We're thinking of buying a plate with our picture on it. Just popped into the crypt, been in the church, the Chapel de Saint Anne. Hot muggy day. Just unlocking our bikes, they're still here. And if I swing to our left, you can see where we're the Cardinal Café Brasserie where we stop for a drink. Nice bit of downhill descent. Heading back south into the mountains. My fit daughter going past. That sounds like Finny Finster. showing off just before she uh, crashes out. And that water looks icy cold. We're going to be canyoning and uh, rafting in that so I hope it, uh, it's got that sort of glacial blue about it. Looks decidedly chilly. It's one of our enormous trout pizza. Anna had a little tomato salad for lunch. That's how she manages to stay so slim. These two had their usual marguerite. Margarita pizzas. Saw two grey heron yesterday. Some stone chat. 
and a green woodpecker. Bonjour! <laughs> She's friendly, wasn't she? I think I pulled there. I'm in. The family are heading into the distance. It's a well used track. It certainly is recreational. He's proper running there, that guy. The track follows the river. Lots of mammals. Lots of people out pretending they're in the Tour de France. All on the flat bit, you notice. Everyone okay? Everything working? You good? Oh, 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 the bumps here. Looking south to the big hills down towards Spain. We're quite close to the border here. Just dunking ourselves in a little fountain there, turning it instantly to steam. Found a beautiful little Romanesque church, an octagonal tower with a little spa on the top. It's saying mass at the moment. It's a lot of uh, Pilgrims, rather nice medieval building, and then I'll show you the village square. This is uh, Saint Savin or Saint Savin. We're just checking out, doing a recce where we might be parking tomorrow when we go to the Tour de France. This is the road of the chapels, the Chemin de Chapelle. There's the team. Dinky little chapel up there. Looking up the valley, that's where the Tour de France comes down that valley. Thursday morning, we're at the Lac de Steng. It's about quarter past 20 past nine. I've got the hiccups. And we just parked the car, and you can just hear the tinkly bells of the cattle. And that's Lac de Steng. Le Steng. And we're going off down the Lemming Trail, up the valley. See how we get on. Heading on up the valley, right at the very beginning. It's on video now, you can move around. <laughs> We've made it into the shade, and there's a lovely cataract waterfall cascading down the mountain. We've just broken out of the out of the trees into the upper section. Little patches of snow left on the hills up there. We've made it up to the next lake. That's about an hour and 40 minutes so far. Second of the lakes. It's about two hours up to here, I think. The big ones in the background don't get any smaller, do they? This little refuge. Summer melt stream. We might be able to hear the cattle bells over there. Well, we made it to the Spanish border and we're now going to go down for a bit of skinny dipping in the very Canadian, so you didn't have to go away to Canada to see it. What a lovely day. Worth two days of driving to get to. Just put my water filtration system here. We just filled that up with water. We see the bag. You see we have water coming through at the bottom. You have to get a bit of a squeeze, I think. A squeeze, you can see the water coming through. And I'm squeezing the bag. On 
the downward descent now. Keep it up, you're doing jolly well, well done. We made it up to the Cirque de Gavigny. There's a very high waterfall and some lower ones. There's still a snow patch there left over from the summer. We've just, we've been walking about five or six K, it's an easy path. It's a real lemming route. So we just stopped and had a drink. Now if I turn around, I'll show you the cafe. Hi there, made it. You can just see over my shoulder, there's the waterfall. Just stopped for a bit of a picnic lunch. And there are irises here, little blue butterflies, mountain flowers, very hot day. Quite a busy uh, trail up. But it uh, certainly is a spectacular spot to uh, stop and enjoy the scenery for five minutes. To walk up to the back of the coal, there's the big waterfall there and there's another one just to the left of it another one to the left of that and then there's a, a lower wall lots of waterfalls there you still see the snow patches and just over the cliffs there is Spain Helicopter's just turned up, pick somebody up, is obviously in difficulty. I like go fast because I think it's a ski run. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 